We're already a little bit into the month of July, so it's high time for an update video in which I'll talk about what we had going on in June, which is quite a lot, and what we've got coming up in July that you might be interested in. I always like to begin by talking about three big things. So big thing number one is that I'm hoping to bring out an asynchronous class on Plato's Dialogues in the Study with Sadler Academy. It should be covering a lot of cool stuff. I'll tell you about that in the July section. Big thing number two, I put out a video that uh, I'm looking to get still more feedback on. You'll find it linked below and it was asking for a favor. If you've ever uh, had my videos assigned to you in an academic class or if you're a professor who's used my videos in your classes I'm looking to hear from you and I'll be putting out a blog post about that as well trying to gather some information and get a sense of the impact that the uh, channel and the videos have had big thing number three we've got this coming up before too long. Uh, really about halfway through the month, there is a new series called Conversations with Modern Stoicism, and I have been asked to be the second presenter in that. I'm going to be talking about a really important topic that I think is often misunderstood about how Stoics should look at bad things happening to other people and what sort of attitudes they ought to have about that. So those are the, the three big things. There's a lot of other stuff that we'll talk about in the July section, but let's talk about June now. So I thought that June was going to be a month that I'd get caught up on everything because I don't have any academic classes running this time around this summer, but as it so happened, it was uh, quite packed with a lot of things, some of which are carrying forward into July. Uh, quite a few events. There were some conference presentations. The American Philosophical Practitioners Association, I presented at their annual meeting virtually. The video for that is down below in the video description. Um, and I presented about uh, anger and anger management and resources in primarily ancient philosophy. And then shortly after that, I was at the Aristotle and the Aristotelian Tradition Conference here hosted at Marquette University. And I presented on what logos means for us, because that's the kind of animal we are, a rational or speech using animal. And uh, unpack that, video for that is also Below, we had uh, our usual events, Worlds of Speculative Fiction. We revisited uh, C.J. Chera's uh, Alliance Union narrative universe and looked at the Merchanter novels. We had a Wisdom for Life show focused on digital piracy. Uh, I did some uh, story time, you know, with, with Dr. Sadler. Uh, we also had the AMA as usual and you know, the other kinds of events, meeting for the public Hegel stuff. And we also got on the road and went out to Ohio to see The Cure, which was a really excellent concert. We also went to Summerfest here in Milwaukee, the world's largest music festival. Unfortunately, all the metal was basically concentrated in one night. So uh, me and uh, my, my oldest child went to, to that and had a great time. Um, I've been teaching an online Aristotle course as well. And that's been going uh, quite well um, on the moral virtues. And I participated in this uh, ongoing set of workshops and coaching things called LEAP, which is about uh, nonprofit leadership because, you know, I'm, I'm involved in modern stoicism still after stepping down as editor of Stoicism Today and um, with a bunch of other things here in the Milwaukee area as well. And towards the end of the month, I, I wound up getting a little bit sick, had to go on antibiotics 
And uh, many of you know, sometimes the cure is not worse than the disease, but certainly takes it out of you. So there was all of that going on. I did get some workouts in, a lot of walks, as you've seen. You probably also have seen the pictures of me going to the uh, cat shelter, Almost Home, and um, you know, enjoying spending time and devoting some attention and love and care to these uh, rescued cats. So that's, that's a lot of the things that have been going on here. I did a lot of video work. Um, you probably have seen quite a few videos on Philip K. Dick's great novel, The Man in the High Castle. So I've been doing uh, a lot of uh, filming for that and some half hour Hegel. I didn't get as much done this month as I was hoping, but we've still got some forward momentum. So we're making our way through absolute knowing. I did a uh, Twitter conversation that was, was a, uh, pretty decent. And then we did another Ideas That Matter uh, interview video with my good friend Scott Teruli talking about the music industry and philosophy and his new mentoring program that he's been doing. I released an Evil Sadler video, or maybe we should say Evil Sadler managed to slip out of his bonds and uh, start spouting his usual BS. I did a couple Sadler stories, videos talking about my own memories and you know uh, some, some things that people might uh, find interesting. And I did that video about asking for a favor. So if you have seen my videos, been assigned them in your academic classes, or if uh, you're an instructor and you've assigned them, I'd love to find out from you uh, when and where and, and you know what videos you actually encountered or used. Um, I did a book review video. I've been trying to get to book reviews for quite a while, and it's a good one on how to tell a joke, which is a, a wonderful little translation. Um, I also released a bunch of old Wisdom for Life. They weren't videos yet. They were only podcasts, and I put them to some pictures so that I could then fill out the, uh, the entire uh, podcast slash playlist, which is important. And I did a video that is already getting a lot of views doing an update, you know, 10 years ago, roughly 10 years ago, it was in May of uh, 2013. I did a video specifically about uh, my experience as somebody who deals with depression. And that got a lot of uh, views and a lot of comments. And so it was time to do you know a, a reconsideration of that? So I, I did a video specifically on that, and uh, it's got a quite a good reception, I would say. Um, and uh, you know you can find that down below as well. And then a lot of podcast work in the Sadler's Lectures podcast. We finished up with Seneca's on shortness of life. Really great. Uh, work that I love to teach, and then finished out the uh, sequence on on anger with the ones on book three. Then we jumped to Marcus Aurelius's meditations, and we're still in process of releasing those. And meanwhile, in the background, uh, these have already been released to my Patreon supporters, at least some of them. I've been doing some others on Tolkien's great essay, on fairy stories, right? So we're getting into fantasy, speculative fiction, and literary uh, criticism, literary studies, right? So that is what went on in uh, the month of June. It's hard to believe that we are now past the halfway point of the year, but we are indeed in July. We've got a lot of events coming up this month, some of them local, some of them online that you can easily participate in. So we kick off on the 8th, that's a Saturday at noon, with my monthly AMA, that's Ask Me Anything session, and uh, you're welcome to show up and ask whatever questions you want to. Uh, on the 8th as well, after that, for Patreon supporters, you can always become a Patreon supporter if this is something you want to do, we have our philosophy chat, which is a little bit more intimate video conferencing. On the 9th, I will be doing another story time with Sadler, telling, uh, or actually reading, one of my longtime favorite short stories. And this one is 
the King of Cats. So you might get a kick out of that. On the 12th, which is a Wednesday at 5 p.m., we'll have our public Hegel Q&A and discussion underwritten by supporters of the Half Hour Hegel Project. And then on the 15th, we've got sort of a double header at 9 in the morning uh, Central Time. We will be having the Conversations with Modern Stoicism hosted by Modern Stoicism. There's already 300 people signed up for it, I think. Uh, or perhaps I'm mistaking that with how many people were signed up for the, the previous one. But it's going to be a big, big thing. There's like breakout sessions. I'm going to be the person sort of setting the topic, but there's lots of opportunity for conversation with other people. You don't have to identify as a Stoic. If you're Stoic curious, it's a great thing to show up to. This is sort of an outreach that modern Stoicism does. So that is on the 15th, 9 a.m. And then at 12 p.m., uh, same day on the 15th, we will have Worlds of Speculation fiction. We begin with a video premiere, and this time we're talking about C.L. Moore and uh, her Jirel of Jory stories, which are really wonderful fantasy, weird fiction stuff from the golden age, uh, and it's a really interesting, compelling character. On the 21st, um, here locally uh, at the Women's Club of Wisconsin, Philosophy Eats, we have a dinner and I provide some uh, conversation starters drawn from philosophy. That's always a lot of fun. That is a local event that, that uh, people would have to sign up for. Then on the 22nd, coming back to online events at 12 uh, PM, noon uh, central time, understanding anger. We're going to be looking at the first systematic treatment of anger in the West, and that is by Aristotle in Rhetoric Book 2. We're going to really explore Rhetoric Book 2, talking about anger and its opposite, and also some related emotions like hatred and how that's different from anger. And then we'll finish up on the 29th with something that I didn't get to this last month, but I'm really happy to get to this time, and that's another self-directed study advice video. This time it's about... David Hume, somebody who, you know, I'm not a Humean, but I'm a fan of the guy, and I think you ought to be as well. Got a lot going on this month. I'm hoping to get back to the gym more regularly and get in a lot more walks and hikes and stuff like that to enjoy the wonderful environment that we've got here. We're also doing something, and when I say we, I mean me and my wife, who I met first in high school uh, at Catholic Memorial, we're going to be going back for my 35th reunion. I've never gone to any of them. We're not going to the whole shebang. We're just going to one event, and it should be quite interesting. Maybe I'll put some, you know, writing down my, my thoughts about what it's like to run into people really half a lifetime later. <laughs> You know, I mean, 35 years is a long time. I've got a lot of writing to do, including working on a textbook for one of the classes I'm teaching this coming semester at Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design, uh, Ethics for Artists and Designers. I've already started outlining that. It's obviously not going to be completely finished by the time that I start, but they're gonna, the students will be my proverbial guinea pigs for that. Um, video work. So, you know, I'm going to try to make some more progress with the Half Hour Hegel Project. The end is in sight. We're making our way through the very last section, Absolute Knowing. The Half Hour Hegel Project will probably be finished either in August or September. I've got a lot of book review videos to do, and I'm looking forward to catching up on those. Got to finish up the Philip K. Dick Man in the High Castle. Still quite a few videos yet to go to completely exhaust that work. Um, then I'm going to be doing some core concept videos as well, and I've long wanted to do a set on Aquinas' Five Ways. And then after that, I'm going to begin something that will We'll start in July, and it'll probably continue through August and perhaps even September. Uh, and that's a, a work that a lot of people have asked me about for quite a while. And I'm finally going to get to it and, you know, ideally 
do core concept videos on every part of it. Immanuel Kant's prolegomena to any future metaphysics. So an important work to do. I'll do some Sadler's stories videos, I'm sure, as things, you know, occur to me. And I'm like, yeah, that would be a good thing to talk about. Uh, got some more interviews lined up and uh, I'll do some more personal videos as well, I think. So that should be a lot of fun. And then finally, the podcast. So I mentioned that I've already released to Patreon supporters uh, some of the episodes on Tolkien's uh, on fairy stories, which is an incredibly important work in understanding fantasy fiction from one of the great masters himself. And uh, I'll be releasing those to the public fairly soon. Um, I'm also going to do some other speculative fiction stuff. Uh, you know, Philip K. Dick's The Android and the Human. I've got some videos on those that I want to convert into podcasts. And then finally, I'm going to start uh, with Ursula K. Le Guin and her Earthsea series, uh, on which you know I did a whole bunch of videos. Those are going to start getting converted to podcasts as well. And uh, that should uh, probably, you know, get us started. Uh, we'll start that in July and then it'll continue on for a while as well. So a lot going on this month, as always. I hope that you can join me for some of these online events and consider, uh, oh, I, I almost forgot to mention the Plato class, right? So this month you will see another online class uh, starting enrollment. And um, it's a asynchronous, so you proceed at your own pace. It will be Plato's dialogues, specifically the Euthyphro, the uh, Apology, the Credo, and the Phaedo. These are the ones that are surrounding the trial and death of Socrates. So there'll be videos, podcast episodes, handouts, lesson pages, all sorts of cool stuff there to help you learn and make your way through these really important platonic dialogues. I'll probably have some other things on the horizon for you to check out as well. I've got some other classes in the works, but uh, I'll say more about them later on down the line, probably in some videos that I'll shoot and then you can ask about them then. So. Uh, hope all of you have a great month and uh, maybe join me for some of these online events if you can. And uh, I hope that you keep on studying philosophy and getting something out of the authors that you're studying. And maybe some of my resources will help you in that quest.